Before we get into the video, if you guys are looking to pick yourself up a new custom controller, modded controller, or just one with those cool little buttons on the back, make sure you check out the sponsor, Controller Mods. There's a link in the description that will give you a discount, and there's also a discount code as well. But let's get into it. The new PlayStation Plus games have been on for a couple of days. Destruction All-Stars is an amazing game, but not everyone's got a PlayStation 5 to play it. Control's pretty cool, Concrete Genie's very, very quirky. And I'm guessing everyone's kind of in the same boat of stuck looking for something new to play. So it's that time of the week where we're going to check out the PlayStation Store and see what awesome deals there are for you guys. Now the store's been updated, the deals have been updated. There's three sections for us to look at today. And um, One thing I want to mention first, tonight is going to be a very exciting night for me and a group of friends. We're playing D&D, &D. yes. And this time, I'm the Dungeon Master. I've had to write up a story, I've had to build maps... I've had to do a lot of work to make this table work and it's going to be really, really cool and you guys can actually watch it if you want to. Now, personally, I'm not going to be streaming it because I'm the DM, I have to be constantly kind of focused on the story and the players, the characters, as well as monsters and all that sort of stuff. So, two of my friends are actually going to be streaming this tonight, Zero, aka Calum. Um, you'll see a link pop up on screen and it'll be down in the description and Cynical aka Travis if you're in the discord you might recognize the names Uncle Cynical and Zero FKS um, They're both going to be streaming over on Twitch if you're interested in watching live make sure you check that out I'm going to try and record it as well to possibly post on the channel over the weekend, but not too sure yet um, But we'll see how it goes. Let's get on to the deals though now the first section that I'm going to look at is the games under £15. There's always some hidden gems in here and if you've got money on your PSN account and you're looking for something cool, usually you can pick up some amazing titles for pretty damn cheap. The first one that I'm going to go for on here is a game that I've actually been playing quite a bit. I've took a couple of weeks off but I got addicted to it and so did a big group of us that were playing. Seven Days to Die. Now, I'll be honest, the console version hasn't had as many updates as the PC version. So, granted, when we was playing it, we was playing it on PC. But, nevertheless, the console version is still the same base game. It's still pretty cool. And it's an open-world survival game where there's zombies, pretty much. You start off with nothing. You have to do your gathering to build your materials, to build a base, or to take over a building that you could use as a base. Building your weapons and doing all that sort of stuff. So it's literally like if you watch The Walking Dead, if you need to get a load of meds, you can literally go and find a hospital and raid it. But inside, there's going to be a book ton of zombies that you're going to have to take out at the same time. Definitely worth looking at. The game's normally 30 quid and it's currently on sale for £6. Second one that I'm going to go for is something that's not going to be for everyone. It's a game called PC Building Simulator. Now, this is normally 15 quid, it's currently £7.50. Now, this game, if you've ever thought about building your own gaming PC and never had a clue how to do it, this game could pretty much teach you what to do. And basically, it's the usual tycoon simulator style game. You'll start off and you've got your own little workshop where you're fixing people's PCs and you're kind of going from there, building stuff, fixing stuff. Um, literally, if a computer's got a virus, you're going to have to try and get rid of it on that computer and then send it back to earn money and progress through it. It's pretty cool, it's very different. Not everyone's into the simulator style games, but if you're looking for something chilled out to play, then definitely, definitely check it out. And the final one on this section is a game that everybody should own, just because it's one of them things that you can jump on with your friends, you can chill out and play couch co-op, and it's pure pool. The game's usually eight quid and it's currently two pounds 79p. For two quid, well, almost three quid, this game, add it to your library and pick it up. It's one of them that if you like playing pool anyway, and the pubs are all closed, so if you're a little bit older and you're over 18, and you're usually one of them people on a weekend that you'll go out and have a few beers and a few games of pool with your mates, you can sit at home and have a few beers and still kind of play pool with your mates, but over a TV screen. Really cool, the mechanics of this game is the best on any pool game that I've ever played. So if you play like Hustle Kings, don't like Hustle Kings, don't like the mechanics for it. Always find the tables a bit too sticky, if you know what I mean. Um, but with Pure Pool, it just feels absolutely, it just feels absolutely perfect. The second section that we're going to look at is Critic's Choice. Now, there's only actually one game that I'm going to go for on here. A lot of the other stuff I've mentioned quite a few times in the past. And it's Watch Dogs Legion. Now, before Watch Dogs Legion came out, I spoke about the game a few times when I mentioned it. And people were asking about it of... I love Watch Dogs, but I thought Legion was a little bit too weird of how you just swap characters. When the game came out, I had a next-gen console, and I wanted something to play that had the, the boost, the next-gen graphics with ray tracing and all that stuff. 
Watch Dogs Legion was one of them games that I picked up just for that reason, and it, it was actually a pretty cool game. It didn't work the way that I thought it would. I thought you'd walk down the street, press a button, and next minute you're a little old lady running around hacking and beating people up. It was a little bit different. It was one of them games where you'd scan someone to try and recruit them, and then you might have to do a little mission to actually get them to join your team to then play as them, which I didn't know at the time. I think that's a pretty cool idea of the way that it works. It's a pretty cool game. Watch Dogs, it's one of them games, if you played the older ones, you'll pretty much know how the game works. It's just different city, different story. But if you haven't played it, it's a big open world game like GTA style, but set in the future where you can hack stuff, you can hack vehicles. If the police are chasing you and you go past a barrier, you can press a button to make that barrier come up so the police smash into it. All that sort of stuff. Really cool game, really cool story. And on next gen, it looks absolutely beautiful. But the final section that we're going to look at is the remasters and the retro stuff. Now, I know retro stuff isn't for everyone. Say with remasters, if it's something that you played on like PS2 or PS3, a lot of people are like, why would, why would I want to play it on a PS4 or a PS5? And I understand that, but I'm sure there's some hidden gems in it anyway that you're going to have some fun with. And the first one that I'm going to go for is Borderlands The Legendary Collection. Now, the reason that I'm going for this is because it's a big bundle that's got all the Borderlands stuff in it. And if you're a Borderlands fan, this is definitely one that you need to check out. It's normally 40 quid and it's currently 16 quid. Now, for a long time, I wasn't too bothered about Borderlands when I saw other people playing it. Just because all I could see was the comic book style of it being an FPS with weird monster creatures. But when you actually get in and actually start playing the game... There's a lot more to it. If you play like The Division, Destiny, that sort of stuff, it's a similar style of game. It's a looter. You go around an open world doing missions, you beat bosses, they drop loot, and when you get later in the game, you can literally do boss runs to try and get that legendary drop. It's a pretty cool game, and the fact that it's a big bundle is going to keep you busy for quite a long time. And the second one that I'm going to go for, the final one that we're going to mention on here, is another bundle, and... With it being retro stuff, I had to mention this. It's the Sega Mega Drive Classics. It's got all the old Sega games on it, so if you're a Sonic fan and into all that sort of stuff, this is one for you. It's normally 25 quid. It's currently on sale at £12.50. If you're a little bit older like me and you're into the retro games, if you like going back to the arcades and playing this sort of stuff, then this is a game that you're going to love. And for like 12 50 as well, it is definitely, definitely worth picking up. But that is pretty much it for this one. Any of the games that I have mentioned today, if you're looking for people to play with, make sure you join the Discord. Again, as I mentioned at the start of the video, we're doing a D&D &D night, and we're actually playing it in Discord using a game called Tabletop Simulator on PC. So everything's virtual, it's pretty cool. And it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. As a dungeon master, it's my first time actually doing it, and it's took me quite a long time to write out this stuff and to create the table for it. So it's going to be very, very interesting. I'm going to try and record it to post on the channel over the weekend. Not too sure how well that's going to work, but either way, we're going to try. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have a like, it'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.